Hey everyone, it's expert dating coach Annabella Rose here again. So today I plan on talking about a rather interesting topic, a female arousal. Now by the end of this video, you will not only know what to tell her, but also how to say it in the most important way and how to build that anticipation so that she is receptive to your words. Of course, before we start, click that cheeky subscribe button and turn on the notifications as there's going to be so many more videos coming your way. Female arousal. The issue of female arousal is quite a mystery to many of you men. As a result, most of you end up overthinking the whole process, hence going to some extremes, all in an aim to arouse us women. But most men do not know that to get a woman to swoon is a very simple gestures, such as maybe a long, warm, firm touch might be all you need. Understand the female brain. Women experience sexual desire and arousal quite differently from you men. Unlike in women, arousal and desire in men happen somewhat interchangeably. If a man who sees a sexy woman and thinks about past sexual experience, it almost immediately leads to arousal, the desire to have to engage in that sexual activity. For women, it's very different. We have to go through a couple more stages before we can get to the summit of the entire process, where we can get stimulated enough to strip down and dance to the rhythm without a care of the world. Part of this journey for us is physiologically inclined and counts on us being in a relaxed state of mind. Studies have backed this up by stating that for a woman to get aroused and sail through that sexual cycle to orgasm, deactivation of a part of her brain is associated with stress and anxiety this part needs to be turned off. The journey of stimulating a woman therefore starts from making her feel calm and relaxed. Consequently, it all begins long before you're actually sexually intimate, so that during that D-Day, it's all about outpouring of what has been building up. How then do you create this anticipation? Invest in small, thoughtful gestures. Regularly show affection. Now that goes a long way in aligning a woman with her sexual intimacy. Warm, lingering hugs before intimacy will also call a release of a hormone, which will build up when you're turning into that sexual activity later on. The best way to achieve this is to hug her whenever you can. Make foreplay a 24-7 thing. Foreplay should not be in just an in-the-bedroom kind of a thing. The goal is to keep the spark between you two alive for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It may be, therefore, call for an activeness even days before you actually have a sexual encounter. With that said, it may mean that inside the bedroom, you do not go directly for the fruit when the time comes. You might need to explore her other erogenous zones and add on to that anticipation. For example, kiss her ear and down to her neck through her chest area to her belly button and her inner thigh. Remember, the longer you stay away from her vagina, the higher the anticipation. Outside the bedroom, foreplay may look something like calling her to let her know that you're going to be late for a date, complimenting her body features that stand out to you. You might be, hey, can't wait to see you. I miss you so much. I love how you make me feel. I love it when I'm with you. I love your scent. Anything that you can do to appeal to her sexual desire. Make her feel wanted. Self-esteem plays a significant role in sexual intimacy. Well, both men and women need it to cycle through their sexual cycle. Men, however, don't need it as much as women. While a woman needs it to feel attractive, wanted and sexy, to rise to the occasion, men do not need to feel that hot to do it. If, in that case, then you need to work a little bit step in, stir up things around with your partner and it make that feeling amazing before sex. It's your job to bring back that sexual desire. You can do these by making it a habit to regularly boosting her self-esteem, even when sex is not involved. Once you've created a reservoir of anticipation and desire, you are at the top five things you can tell her to drive her crazy and get her naked. Mark you, this is more inclined for foreplay in the bedroom. Number one, you look so hot right now. One reason why this assertion never fails is that you can use it in practically any situation. You can use it with your woman when she's wearing some jeans and a t-shirt, maybe even a ball gown or lingerie or maybe even just a robe. As long as the compliment is sincere, any woman would feel desired, which is one of the ways you can get her to strip it all down for you. Number two, I find you irresistible. Though such a comment, you let a woman know that you're not the type of guy who is all over a woman usually, but with her, it's different. 
and you cannot help yourself. And as a result, this makes her feel that she is different and better than all the other girls that you've met and previously been with. It will be a turn on to her, which will work in your favour. Better still, try and further explain to her why you find her so irresistible. It's likely to have more effect on her this way and will become more genuine as opposed to when the details don't accompany it. Number three, everything about you turns me on. Well, I think that quite confidently that you can love someone but dislike some things about them. It's therefore impossible on infrequent occasions you will like everything about your partner. I would therefore advocate that instead of telling her everything about her that turns you on, tell her about specific things that arouse you. For example, that scent of your perfume turns me on. The way your lips curl when your smile is a real turn on for me. Your abs are so sexy they turn me on. Or your belly is such a turn on for me. When you state the actual things that turn you on about her, it becomes more believable. Taking time to acknowledge the specific details about her and her body will make any woman feel sexy, wanted and desired, which easily translates to her putting herself and her body out there for you. Number four, I'm not only after sex. One way men make a fool of themselves and make women completely shut down towards them is by pretending that sex is not one of their agendas. Come on! We all know that you need to bed us and that you want to and it fuels a significant percentage of your pursuit. You do not have to pretend. People who come clean about their intentions attract us more. It would go a long way in arousing her if you let her know that you are not there only for the sex. It informs her that you are willing to continue staying with her even longer after sex. It also earns you the respect of her as not many men would do that. Number five, we can wait. I want it to be special. Every woman is secretly hoping that she could get a guy who can tell her this. The irony behind this is that we want to hear guys saying it to us, but the moment we hear it, we want to dive into the bed with them that very minute. It makes her perceive you are some higher level of respect. You hold a unique perception of her in your eyes. Just to be sure that when she agrees to wait, you don't push or rush her, then that would mean that you're just a liar. Women are rather easy to excite and arouse as far as sexual intimacy is concerned. You have to communicate and say the trigger words in the right way. Appeal to our emotional side and you will get practically everything you want from us. Gents, that's all from me today. Please check out our ebooks Get a Girl Crazy in Bed by clicking on the link below or clicking on the card above. This ebook is all about making her crazy in bed and giving her the very best orgasms. Don't worry, all the techniques and strategies are easy to apply and understand and I'm sure you will fill her nights with passion and drive her wild with the very best time you two have ever had right after reading my ebook. Of course, if you love this video, like, share, comment and subscribe and if you are looking for coaching then please click the contact us link in the description box below and fill in the form. One of our customer service reps will be with you in less than 24 hours. I've been Annabella Rose and I will see you next time.